blockchain or the B word as I sometimes refer to it. There is barely a day that goes past where someone doesn't come and have a conversation with us around blockchain. Yet it's something that everyone is happy to talk about but doesn't necessarily really understand. So um, we're bringing out um, three of the, the real world leading thought leaders from San Francisco and running a series of events around understanding what is blockchain. What are the implications for blockchain in terms of us as a bank in a year's time, in two years time, in 10 years time. Really to build up just a depth of understanding. I think the reason that the blockchain um, is of such interest and of, um, and of such hype is that it is, it is misunderstood by, by many people. Um, one of the things that we're aiming to do in the accelerator is actually to build up a level of understanding of what it actually is so we can see what are the real use cases that it's going to be put to. Um, we've already done some successful um, work in, in trade um, with the use of smart contracts. We've already done some experiments and we've taken a, an equity stake um, in, in Ripple and done some work with partner banks in terms of cross-border payments. But the key thing here I think is around experimentation. And you know, blockchain isn't the solution to all of our, all of our problems as a bank, and which some people kind of tend to think at the moment. So it's important that we experiment to find out where is the real value. And blockchain, as I said, is still at the, it still hasn't reached top of its hype cycle. But at some point, the hype cycle will end and we'll start to actually see banks using you know, really, really concrete use cases for it. So the importance of us to experiment with blockchain now is so that when that hype cycle ends and the real use cases emerge, that we're well equipped to move quickly.